So what's going on with the crab fishery? Well, here we are, it's uh, 2023. These boats are tied up. They sh a lot of them should be out fishing crab. But you might remember the pandemic. 2020, people had a lot of free time in their hands, stayed home, they weren't out eating at restaurants. So in the United States, especially the number one market, uh, people uh, could splurge. They bought a lot of snow crab. 2021, price ends up at 760 a pound. It rolls into 2022, 760 a pound. That's a lot of money worth $756 million here on the wharf for fish harvesters. But what happened was sales started to slow in the States, inventories built up, and uh, now we're down to 220 a pound. So where are we today? Originally, the uh, Fish Harvesters Union, the FFAW, was hoping for at least 348 a pound for their crab. The fish price setting panel decided with the producers and aimed at 220 a pound. Now, for 220 a pound, some, maybe some of the bigger boats with bigger quotas can go out there and make some money. Some can for sure. But there's lots of harvesters out there for 220 a pound. They say they can't break even or they can't make money. You know, some of them have bought licenses. They spent four or five hundred thousand oh, dollars for license, crab though. licenses, and uh, interest rates have gone up. And 220 pounds just not going to cut it. So people are in a bit of a pickle. Uh, price of gas, diesel has gone through the roof. Uh, bait, supplies, everything costs more. So that lower price is putting the squeeze on a whole bunch of people. So we're at a bit of a standstill. So what does this mean for Newfoundland and Labrador? Did I mention that this fishery is worth $756 million landed value at the wharf? At least it was last year. That kind of money uh, supports plant workers, hundreds, thousands of plant workers in 22 plants across Newfoundland and Labrador, in uh, Labrador, places like Bonavista, places like Triton. That money is new money that comes into these communities and it trickles down in, in terms of graders, truck drivers, people who work in the grocery store, dealerships in St. John's. That's a lot of money. It's, it's a mega project and it's all in rural Newfoundland generally. So it's a big deal. 